Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what we're going to be talking about are the 4th of July sets, some of the new players that came out today. I think you guys are pretty excited about it, as am I. I've already made a couple upgrades to my team, and I'll show you guys that in just a couple of minutes here. Um, but I do want to also show you guys kind of what's going on currently on the marketplace. So if you go on over here to the marketplace, um, and you'll actually take a look in the Browse the Store, you're going to see that there is currently a bundle topper included with the bundle that you can purchase, which will contain one of the 99 overall 4th of July items that's currently in the game. So we could be talking about the Jared Allen. We could be talking about Larry Fitzgerald. Um, there's a couple of different players that are in there. Ronnie Lott is also a big one, of course. So uh, just want to show you guys that before we move on here. So there is a way for you to kind of guarantee yourself one of those 99 overall players if you're interested in spending, what, $80 right now on these packs. So um, yeah, just want to show you guys that. But I do also want to hop in here and take a look at the actual marketplace because there are some beast players currently that you can get for a pretty darn good price right now if you look at the 4th of July sets. So here they are. Um, currently, I have the collectibles up, so let me take a look at the players here. But look at these things because they are absolutely nasty. All of these items are very, very good. I just want to compare them real quickly to the players that are currently on my roster so that you guys can kind of get an idea of how good these items are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Jared Allen here who is currently listed as a 99 overall right end. And we're going to compare him to my current right end who is Bruce Smith. And I just want to show you guys some of these attributes that he's really good in. Some of the ones where he lags a little bit behind and kind of my overall opinion. So... First of all, speed and acceleration, Jared Allen is very, very good. 102 acceleration, he's going to get one of the best jumps on the ball that you're going to have out of any player in this entire game. 89 speed, also very good. He's not the fastest player at the end, but he's definitely up there in that top echelon of being very, very quick, unless you start to talk about the linebackers, in which case then he's not really up there. But um, Okay, so this one is going to end, so let's take a look at a different one that's maybe not... Uh, going to end anytime soon. So um, let's compare him again to Bruce Smith. But um, yeah, so very, very good attribute there. His strength is a little bit lower at a 95. That's not amazing. It's still good, but it's not amazing. Tackling, I don't really worry too much about that, but he is a little bit lower than Bruce Smith. His block shedding, that's the biggest thing that I'm a little bit worried about. Bruce Smith has 98 for a block shed, which is excellent. Jared Allen's 93. Now, it's not bad it's not like he's gonna get destroyed or anything like that but he is still quite a bit lower than the most of the other 99 overall right ends so i i definitely am a little bit worried about that but where he makes up for it is the finesse or excuse me the power move 105 power move that is absolutely insane that animation, when that triggers, he is going to pretty much destroy anybody who's in front of him. So he's going to get extremely, extremely fast pressure if you utilize him yourself. So if you are able to get in there and, you know, make sure that you're using him, typically he's going to have an amazing, amazing performance with that 105 power move. That's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't think there was anything else that I really wanted to look at specifically with this. I just want a quick look through. Um, yeah, jumping there the same. Uh, Bruce Smith is better on some other random things like uh, I think like catching and stuff like that, but not really something that you'd worry about too often. Um, play rec, he's a little bit better. Uh, Jared Allen is. But yeah, overall, a very, very good card. For the price, he's absolutely worth it. Right now, I mean, you just saw the one that went for 70000 That's a pretty darn good price for a 99 overall defensive end that's that good. Uh, Bruce Smith's usually going for mm, probably double that. So definitely a good buy, I would say, right now, if you go on to the 4th of July promo and purchase him. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other items that are up here. The next lowest price one is typically going to be this Derek Johnson, which is a 99 overall middle linebacker. I'm going to go to the second one. So this one, if it, so in case this one sells like the other one did. Uh, and we're going to compare him to my 97 overall Luke Keekley. Now, at first glance, you probably assume that this Derek Johnson is just going to blow Luke Keekley out of the water. And in a lot of areas, he does. Speed acceleration, uh, he's definitely going to be better at if you take a look at these attributes. Uh, he's got a hundred, or no, excuse me, a 98 acceleration versus a 92 acceleration for Luke Keekley. The 93 speed versus the 90 speed. His awareness is higher, his strength is higher, his tackling is a little bit higher, block shedding is a little bit higher, pursuits a little bit higher. His zone coverage, this is the big one. 
his zone coverage to me is uh, probably the thing that I'm most excited about for this item because he actually has ridiculous zone coverage for a linebacker. 89 for his zone coverage. That is really, really, really good. Um, the one area, though, that I don't really like about him is that he doesn't have as good of catching, which I thought was a little bit odd. Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah. He's actually one lower in the catching attribute than Luke Keekley. Not that that itself is going to make him significantly worse by any means. He's still going to be a very, very good item. Um, but then you look at some of these other things here, like the jumping. This is another one that I saw. Yeah, his jumping is nine lower than my 97 Luke Keekley. So when you're, you know, usering him over the middle, for example, and you're holding that triangle button, or if you're holding the Y button on the Xbox One, you know, and you get that animation where the guy tries to throw over the middle to a tight end or something like that, and you're going for that jump animation, you're probably not going to get that as often with Derek Johnson as you would Luke Keekley. So that's definitely something to think about. I'm not saying that it doesn't, that it means you got to get rid of, or, you know, you have to keep Keekley or, or a linebacker like Keekley, uh, but definitely think about that before you move to this Derek Johnson and, and, you know, test it out, I would say. But other than that, I really, really think that this Derek Johnson is definitely a beastly card. He's going for about 100,000 coins right now. You can get him for, you know, somewhere between 90 to 100,000 at the moment. I'm assuming that all of these will actually go up in price, by the way. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you guys are interested in getting any of these items, I would probably assume that they're going to at least go up a little bit over the next few days. So do keep that in mind. The other card that I want to show you guys today, um, or before we move on here, RG3. This is a very, very well-priced quarterback item. He's going for, you know, 100000 to 110000 at the moment, roughly. Um, but, yeah, compare him right now to my final edition, Andrew Luck, that I have. And, yeah, he's very, very good. Uh, throw power is a little bit better. His speed, as you imagine, is a little bit better than Andrew Luck's. Uh, if you compare them in acceleration, he's also a little bit higher with 100 acceleration versus Luck's 95. Luck is still very, very agile, so I don't really worry about that too much. He's going to be able to get out of the pocket and run and things like that if you want to. Um, but, you know, to me, that's something that you definitely have to think about with RG3 because he's going to be able to take off and just book it down the field. The other thing is that he is also better with the ball in his hand. He does have higher carrying. He's got most of these uh, these other attributes, like with the ball in his hand type of thing. Uh, his elusiveness is substantially higher. His stiff arms higher. His spin moves way higher. His juke moves higher. Everything like that, he's going to be better with the ball in his hand running with than uh, your Andrew Luck is. But in the pure throwing mechanics, that is something that we have to consider because Andrew Luck is better in all of the ac accuracy attributes. Not substantially better because he is the same actually in throw mid, but the throw accuracy short and especially the throw accuracy deep I think is going to be kind of a little bit of an issue for RG3 being that he only has a 93 throw accuracy deep. That's fairly low for a quarterback that has 100 throw power because you'd assume that he would be able to throw it on target a little bit better with those type of attributes. But overall, 100,000 coins for this item definitely worth it if you're looking for a more budget type quarterback uh i shouldn't say budget because that's still fairly high price but you know not one of the highest price quarterbacks in the game you're looking for somebody that's still gonna be able to do a good job though this rg3 is gonna be all over the mutt field lately you know in the next couple of weeks over the next month or two until this game ends i would assume that we're gonna see a lot of people using this rg3 just because he's got the amazing combination of all these different attributes now this card is one that i want to tell you guys about a little bit because I really want to actually take a look at this card uh, in a, a little bit of a different way, and I'll tell you guys what it is. So basically, this Vincent Jackson item, this was the first 4th of July item that came out, if I remember correctly, uh, but I want to actually show you guys what I'm doing with him on my team currently, and uh, the reason that I'm using him where I am. So here it is. My current lineup, you guys are going to see it. Uh, it's a little bit of a preview for this weekend's games that I'll probably be uploading but you see where I've got Vincent Jackson. I have him at tight end, which I know you guys are thinking, why would you use him at tight end? Well, let me show you why. So first of all, he's a 99 overall player at wide receiver, so you could obviously use him there. If I wanted to use him instead of this Julio Jones, for example, he kind of blows Julio Jones out of the water in just about everything. Um, so uh, here, let's compare him like this. He kicks his ass in basically everything other than like elusiveness. He's a little bit lower in speed, but he's two inches taller. He has better route running. He has better catch in traffic, uh, better pure catching. Pretty much everything he's better than Julio Jones in for the most part, other than that elusiveness. Um, but like if you were to actually take a look and compare him to a tight end, I think you're going to be a little bit surprised at what you see here. 
Mike Dick has a 99 overall tight end. What is he better than Vincent Jackson in? Run blocking by a one? By a one. He's better than him by a one in run blocking. That's it. Other than that, Vincent Jackson is substantially better in everything. First of all, he's six foot five versus six foot three, so that's an advantage. Also, if you take a look at the jumping, you're gonna see a little bit of a a little bit of a surprise, I think. If you take a look, 96 jumping versus 87 jumping. That's not even close. So he's going to be able to use his body much better than Mike Ditka is. Then you take a look at all this other stuff. Better awareness, better strength, which, by the way, the strength will help without run blocking as well. So both of those two attributes combined, I think it's pretty much a wash. You look at the catching. He's better in catching. He's better in release, better in route running, better in catching traffic. Pretty much every single thing that you would look for in a tight end you're going to see it better out of Vincent Jackson than you do Mike Ditka. The impact blocking, he is a little bit lower in 80 versus an 85, which, by the way, he should still be okay in that attribute. But, like, overall, I just don't see the reason to keep a Mike Ditka over a Vincent Jackson. He's going to be so much better as a receiver, and he's just going to be as good as a blocker. So I, I'm really not worried about this. I'm excited to use this card at tight end because I think I'm going to be able to throw him a couple of streaks down the field and really abuse some of these people that like to run cover three and things like that. Um, be able to do that. And then we'll also be able to use him on slants a lot. That is going to be an abuser. I'm telling you guys right now, we're going to see Vincent Jackson on my team do some damage on people. So I'm excited about that. Uh, and then we'll go back here and take a look at some of these other items that are currently being released right now into the game. Um... Let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked on browse the store. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I mean, again, these 4th of July items, the reason that I'm really excited about them is because they're so low priced because the sets were so easy to do. They really, really were just easy as hell to do. So, I mean, it makes it so that these cards are really, really cheap. 70000 for Jared Allen, which we talked about, is a really good price. Um, but let's continue to look down here at some of these other items. Uh, the Larry Fitzgerald, I want to compare this one real quickly uh, to my current Larry Fitzgerald. So this card's going for roughly one hundred and forty to 150000 at the current time that I'm looking at it over on the PlayStation 4. But uh, let's compare it to my current Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Kicks his ass and everything. This is Ultimate Legend Larry Fitzgerald. He's better than him at everything other than the awareness they're the same. So this is an upgraded version of your base Ultimate Legend Larry Fitzgerald. And he's also as good or better than the boss edition in most of these attributes. He's pretty much like a slightly upgraded version of this Ultimate Legend Larry Fitzgerald, which was going for, you know, quite a few coins before this weekend started. So I'm not exactly sure what that card's going for now, and I'm a little bit disappointed because I, if I would have known that this was coming out, I would have probably sold my Larry Fitzgerald a couple of days ago to make, you know, to take advantage of this. But, you know, in hindsight, you can't really do anything now. I mean, it would be it would have been great before. But, like, look at some of these attributes here. I mean, he's just an absolute beast in just about everything. So, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of this Larry Fitzgerald item. And, um... You know, I, I definitely think, despite the fact that he's only six foot three, which, by the way, the fact that I'm saying only six foot three is ridiculous, but that's just how Madden is this year. Um, overall, though, this card is absolutely crazy. He's just a beast in everything that you would look for. So I'm a big fan of this one. Definitely think he's worth 140, 150 thousand coins. And if you can get him like on on a uh, bid now type of a thing where you can get a little bit of a snipe on him, definitely go out there and do that because I think you're going to be very excited about him and he's going to do a great job for you. Now, the final item that I want to show you guys, this is one that I've actually purchased on my team, Ronnie Lott. I'm going to go over here and show you guys what I'm currently doing with him on my team uh, because, again, I can never just be normal and use him like a normal human being, right? I have to go out and do something weird. So here we go. <laughs> we got him on our defense, and I'm actually continuing to use the standard Ronnie Lott Ultimate Legend card here. And uh, he's going to be my standard strong safety. But I've actually decided to take Ronnie Lott, the 4th of July version, and make him my free safety. He's also a 99 overall at free safety. So I've kind of demoted Eric Weddle for the time being. We'll see what ends up happening. He's backing up my other... Uh, he's actually backing up at strong safety. So that's a little bit weird. But um, here you go. This is what I wanted to show you right here. I'm going to go in and compare this to my current free safety, who is Eric Weddle. 
and you're going to see he blows him away in absolutely everything. Now, Eric Weddle's a 98, so we'd expect that. But let's compare him, actually, if you were to start, if you were to actually go in and want to start him at strong safety, the Ronnie Lott uh, July 4th edition, edition excuse me, uh, against the standard Ultimate Legend. Take a look. Does it look familiar to the Larry Fitzgerald in the fact that it's better in everything? Pretty much it does. But look at how much better it is. It's with the Larry Fitzgerald, it was like one or two attributes better in everything. This one, it's like three, four, five, six, seven attributes higher, eight attributes higher in some of these things than other uh, than than the standard Ultimate Legend. It's crazy how much better this Ronnie Lott is than the standard Ultimate Legend, which was again a player that I started on my team. This thing was an absolute beast. But now you compare it, and it's like it's not even a comparison. I had to go out here and buy this thing because I got it for like, I think I bought mine for 185000 I think that's what I got mine for. So it's gone up just a little bit in price. So again, make sure you guys go out here and purchase these things today before they skyrocket and before this video comes out, before other videos come out that show you just how freaking ridiculous this Ronnie Lott is. Go out there and uh, make sure you purchase these cards because this thing is absolutely crazy. Now, look at these attributes. 98 speed, 102 acceleration, just ridiculously fast. Play rec is amazing, so you don't have to use him if you don't want to. If you want to use him, though, you certainly can and do some serious damage with him. He's got great man coverage as well, which I thought was a little bit surprising. Most safeties are not going to have good, at all, good man coverage whatsoever. And then his zone coverage, 101 zone coverage. 101 zone coverage. That is insane. Pursuit is amazing at 100. His pow hit power, 105 hit power. What? Like, that is absolutely ridiculous. Now, what I really want to do here, and I haven't actually gone out here and done this yet, so what I want to do is go out here onto the auction block, and I want to show you guys Ronnie Lott Boss Edition, and I want to compare him to the July 4th edition because I think you guys are going to be a little bit surprised about this, okay? And I'm going to show you guys the price on these things as well because it's it's a little bit it's a little bit surprising. I'm not going to lie to you. Hopefully somebody has the Boss Edition up. I'm really hoping that somebody does, although they might not. Uh, we might have to, we might not be too lucky here. We'll see. Oops, I accidentally pressed Ultimate Freeze. Um, we might not get lucky here, but let's see what we can do. So, I don't see any boss edition yet. There's a boss edition. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you guys, first of all, the price of this boss edition is still really, really high right now. So, you can buy the current, you know, like the one that I have on my team for about 85000 the the standard Ultimate Legend. But the boss edition is still going for, what is this, 400000 368000 for a bid. And the buy it now is five fifty. So, I don't know what it's actually going to sell for, but... I mean, we're talking at least at the bare minimum of 368000 And we saw the other Ronnie Lot was going for, what, like 200000 So, I mean, it's 150000 coins cheaper than this one. Now, let's compare the two because I think you're going to be interested in this. Right here. There it is. Boom. Yeah. It's better than the boss edition in every single attribute. And substantially better in a lot of attributes. He's two speed faster, three acceleration faster, three play rec faster, three tackling better, three higher in man coverage, two higher in zone, and five higher in hit power. You can't tell me that this isn't one of the best value items in this game. This 4th of July edition Ronnie Lott is absolutely ridiculous. I'm a huge fan. I recommend everybody go out here and purchase this thing. It is absolutely worth it. Definitely the best free safety or strong safety value that you're going to find in this game currently right now. So guys, go out there and purchase that thing. I know this is a long video and I apologize for that, but I wanted to just show you guys kind of all these items and compare them and give you guys an idea of, you know, kind of what my personal opinion is on each of these things. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to go out there and get these things for a good price. Let me know what you guys think about these cards. If you think EA went a little bit too ridiculous on it and, and making it too easy to do the sets, that's possible as well. But at the same time, we're coming to the end of Madden. So it's nice now that other people who maybe don't have 5 million coins can go out there and still build themselves a really good team. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Again, I apologize for it being a long one, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you again soon.